Today I'm going to review, oh my god, one of the worst animated movies of the year. This movie is just so bad. I am reviewing Top Cat Begins. The story is Top Cat, a character, befriends another cat named Benny. Yeah, they stop a villain named Mr. Big. No, that sounds familiar. It does. It sounds a lot like the villain from Zootopia. Or Zootropolis, or whatever they call it. Um, this movie is just so boring that it made me want to turn it off. And you can be bored. It's slow. It's slow like. You know like when I reviewed Civil War, I said the first act was slow? This one is even more slower. It feels like as if one minute, all right, you're in like, you're like, oh, for 20 minutes. It's only like one minute into the movie. The story just, it doesn't make sense. You don't get it at all. It, you're just like, where was I? Like, where was I? What would we do? Where are we? Like, what are we at? The animation, can I just say, there's nothing put into it. There's no effort put into the animation. In fact, I'm getting off track. First, we're off about the story. Sorry about that. Um, the story is just... It doesn't make sense. I felt like I was bored watching this movie. I felt like I was just sitting there watching nothing. Oh my god. The animation is just so bad, and like I said before, there's no effort put into it. It looks like something like Garfield on TV, except Garfield has better animation. Well, I think they're made by the same company, but I don't really care. But, the animation is just lazy, it's clumsy. And all one-dimensional animation, okay, I think that's a bit of a weird word to describe an animation, but... Still, there's no detail. When you get films like these, hang on, let me get the blur DVD and Blu-ray. Hang on. Okay, let's see. When you have films like these, Kung Fu Panda 3 and How to Train Your Dragon 2, these movies have animation that really works, and they're also very good movies. These animation movies work. They've got great animation. There's put detail into it, and they're also serious and really amazing, including the original movies, like Kung Fu Panda 1, 2, and How to Train Your Dragon 1. They're even the same thing, like I said, for Kung Fu Panda 3 and How to Train Your Dragon 2. The animation is just lazy. It's all poor. Let me get started with the characters. Mr. Big is an awful villain. And Top Can Benny. They're not bad. And they're not hateable. They're not like, oh yeah, like, do you know, like. They're all right, but they're still really boring characters. The rest of the characters, there's two characters that annoys, that annoyed me. And I almost forgot they were in the movie. Oh my god. The characters are annoying, and the rest are just hateable. Oh my god. The music. You know, there wasn't re I could not hear music. There was no music. And they just used songs. Like, I forget the name of the song. But I think it's... Oh god, it's really hard to think of. It's... I, I forget the name of the song, but they use a song. And it doesn't even fit the movie. And for that, I am going to give Top Cat Begins a 3 out of 10. Now, it's not as bad as Norm of the North and Ice Age 5 Collision Course, but pretty close. And I'm going to give it the seal of rubbish. See you next time for my review for Coop.